Hello guys, we are back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, let's see all about sinusoidal signal. We have already discussed about four different signals in the previous tutorials. So if you want, you can just go back and check them. So sinusoidal signal. So it is defined as in continuous. It is x of t is equals to a sine omega t plus phi, where a is the amplitude is nothing but this guys. I think I didn't write here. So this will be the amplitude sine omega t plus phi. Phi will be the phase difference. Okay, where we already know that omega is equal to 2 pi, f is equal to omega by 2 pi, that implies we also know that f is nothing but 1 by t, right? Frequency is always inversely proportional to time. So, 1 by t is equal to omega by 2 pi, t is equal to 2 pi by omega. So, this is what we can prove, guys, from this continuous this signal of sinusoidal signal and even the discrete signal. Just to place in place of t, n, that's it. x of n is equal to a sin omega n plus 5. So guys, if you have any more confusion in drawing these signals, just first draw the original signal of continuous signal with pen, sorry, with pencil, sorry, with pencil, okay, and just erase it lightly, slightly and just draw lines according to that particular height, see here, if you draw a dotted line, it see it's approximately equal to that, that's how, that's what I followed guys. So, I think now you can draw discrete signals easily. So in the next tutorial, we will be going to real signal, I think so, real exponential signal, yeah. So in next tutorial, we will be going to real exponential signal and complex exponential signal. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.